Hello, how are you doing? Sean from the Scottish Running Podcast here. We're here today at the Kilmacombe 10k, the race which I have won three times, Pete's only won once. <laughs> uh, we're currently up here waiting on the half marathon and the 10k to come in. The 10k is probably coming in in the next five minutes or so, so we're going to get some good footage of the runners coming in and obviously of the half marathon as well and we can get to see Pete in a lot of pain. Uh, there's some great stalls here today. We've got Clyde Injury Clinic offering recovery services after the race. And the soup today is chicken and banana. And uh, it's actually quite addictive. <laughs> so that's the big thing for today. Get some chicken banana soup in you. See you soon. So hello, here at the Kilmacombe 10K. It's looking like a wee fabulous day so far. So we've got loads and loads people out so far and we've got Mr. Phil Paul How you from doing, Sean? Clyde Injury Clinic. Philip J. Paul as we see him. <laughs> so Phil, what's your business doing here today? So we're here just um, promoting our services but also try to help IL. We've got a bit of a partnership with IL at the moment. So we're here just helping the runners. We've got the Norma Tech boots you might want to just span over there. Oh. For recovery after the event. So we're hoping lots of runners will come and use that. We're giving out free massage, free taping, uh, just advice if there's anyone carrying wee knocks, wee injuries, wee niggles, anything like that. Free gait analysis for anybody that wants to, um, to have their gait analysed to know what kind of shoes they might want to wear, um, what kind of exercises might help them strength and condition the right areas. So, yeah, if you're coming down today, come and visit us, it's all free. That's what we're here for. Cheers. Brilliant. Sean. Hi. Well, hello. Hello. So, here at the Kimmercom 10K, I'm standing with Holly Stanton, who is the organizer of the Kimmercom 10K, 3K, and the half marathon. So, Holly, yep. how, is, how do you feel your days went so far? The days went absolutely amazing. Um, so much better a turnout than I, I thought. Um, I think that's due to the weather, um, but also the buzz on the run up to the event. Um, running's really became a trend in the past couple of months, so I think that's that's helped as well. Excellent. Have uh, you ever taken part in a 10k yourself? I have done. Um, actually, on the run up to this event, I've taken part in a few 10k's just to see what I could do to improve my own event, which has been good. Excellent, excellent. And uh, have you got plans to take part in the Kimmercom 10K next year? Um, if I'm not organising it, I'll certainly, I'll certainly take part. Brilliant, excellent. Well, thank you very much, and a great event you've organised. Thank you.
thousand years later. Nice day for a local race. Nice. So you're going to make a comeback and uh, attack the Scottish Championship today? <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah, so how's your training? It was a race early. It's been okay. I'm getting a wee bit more in. Um, yeah, nowhere near what I used to do, but running a few times a week, which is good again. And you're, and you're still able to win a race? <laughs> Well, it was hard work today, but um, yeah, just need to keep plugging away at it and hopefully do some more over the winter. Well, well done. Thank you. So, here are the winner of the Kermit Home Time Series, Mr. Kenny Osborne. 
Roadrunners. Bella Houston Roadrunners. And uh, we're going to 10k and 10k. How about that your first time winning the 10k? It's my first time winning a, a, a race, yep. Delighted. Yeah, it was good today. Enjoyed right. that. And what was your time? I think it was 34, 35. So not my not my quickest 10k, but yeah, it, it was a good effort. Decent effort. Hot day. Uh, lonely up there on the cycle path. But yeah, enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Happy with that. And you get a marathon coming up today? I'm going to Frankfurt to run the marathon on the 27th of October. So that's my A goal race at the moment and all the other events I've been doing. This will probably be the last race I do in the build up. So quite looking forward to that. Want to really peak at the end of October. So that's the target at the moment. But today was a good workout. Happy with that. Well done again, Carl. Thanks very much. Thank Mr. David Henderson just finished the half marathon. Oh, aye. Looks like he put in a good effort. Uh, uh, aye, I did. I tried pretty hard. Oh, well, well done. Very well, thank you. Thank you. Pete Tucker, Scottish Running Podcast, Stevie, how was it mate? Oh, it was tough mate, quite warm, mate. Eh? Well done mate, on to the next one. Yeah, absolutely, pretty <laughs> even, so. Okay. I'll leave it to the professional, sorry guys, sorry. So what was your time, David? 185.05, I think. 85.05? Aye, oh, tough. And you're running two marathons in the next couple of months? Aye, yeah, so it's uh, 12 weeks to Valencia, so a wee bit of work to go, but uh, it's a good line this sand, so. Hopefully that's marathon pace or just slower, but a lot of work to do, but I enjoyed it. Pretty even, getting out in 40, back in 41, so I think you don't realise it's obviously downhill and it's kind of most, most uphill on the way back, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm tired, I'm very, very tired, so. Hi, David. Hi, Alan, how you doing, pal? Yeah, good day, I suppose, eh? Go and try and recover with a nice cold beer at the garden, I think, eh? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. Came up from 10K, I've seen Jackie run a Canada vest. And uh, Jackie, you're just visiting. I am visiting. I'm visiting with a friend who I cycled with last year in Japan. And he just lives very close by. So I did a search and I found out there's this wonderful little race. So it's my first time in Kilmacom and first time running this race. And I loved it. And everybody was wonderful. It was a great course. Okay. And thank you for having me. No problem at all. Thank you. My pleasure. So here we are, the Kilmer Queen Women's Half Marathon Runner, Sharon McNichol from Giffnock North. And Sharon, how was that for you today? Yeah, yeah, good. I have a total last minute decision to run today. My partner told me you could register on the day, and I thought you don't normally get many half marathons that you can register on the day, so I thought, oh, well, go give it a go. Um, it's been a while since I've done a half marathon. So, yeah, cool. Unexpected to get first female today, so yeah, it was good, good course, nice and flat. Brilliant, and uh, what's your time? Um, oh gosh, 1.37.06. Brilliant, is, is that a PB or? No, it's not a PB. No, no PB. And uh, you, I can see there, like on your knee, you, you fell as well. And you yeah, the um, last half a mile to go, so we a uh, slight downhill, I so pushed, pushed it to the last, and I uh, just Tumbled, down I went, and then straight back off and just carried on. But yeah, just one of those things. I didn't tell you too much. <laughs> no, but I oh, know it's a lovely, lovely morning for it, so it's good. Excellent. Well done again, Charm. Great, thank you. So, we are here with the winner of the men's half marathon at Kilmacom, Mr. John Carr from Bella Houston Harriers. A couple of couple of seconds off his PB, but how was that for you today, John? Uh, fantastic. Delighted to uh, nab the win there. Just that Nell Mine managed to just pass Jack, and uh, it's been great. Um, the weather's been quite challenging today, you know, given it's quite humid, but um, apart from that, um, delighted to get the win. Brilliant. Brilliant. And uh, is this your first time at Kilmacon? Uh, second time at Kilmacon. Um, did it a few years ago, so I kind of know the course is it's kind of going downhill for the first six maybe but then obviously yeah, it's a bit of a challenge coming back so I had to keep myself in check um, just to know way out uh, just to make sure that when I was coming back I had enough to, to sort of kick on but the good thing about this event is uh, the sun's always shining uh, so I'm not going to really complain I must do it again sometime in the future. Absolutely. And then for your any races in the future, you say you've got Einkhoven Half Marathon? Yeah, I've got the goalie uh, sort of race that I've got coming up, Einkhoven Half, in um, about five weeks' time. So this was just to give me a wee indication of where I am fitness level. Um, so hopefully I can run similar to that again, and then springboard into a bit of cross country and then another marathon in the spring, hopefully. Right. Uh, what kind of time are you going for at the Einkhoven? Well, today I ran about 72 
um, 40 ish, so it'd be good to sort of break the sort of 70, 72 mark, maybe 71. I'll see how it goes. It's nice and flat, flatter than this, so um, I was just a solid effort, was always what I try and aim to do, basically. Um, and then hopefully build on and get a better sort of marathon time as well from that. And then, of course, Christmas season coming up as well. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll dip my toe into that, you know, and um, see how that goes. Um, it's always always great events um, going on, so it's good to, good to build the strength as well. So I'll give that a wee, a wee bash as well. Alright, that was great to talk to you and well done again. Alright, cheers, thank you. And in second place of the time of 43.29 is Catherine Laverty. Congratulations. Well done. And then winner of the 10k female section of the time of 40.26, that's 4026, is Elizabeth Kerr. Congratulations, Elizabeth. He's got a picture from the winners, so give him a round of applause as well. Well done, ladies. He got a time of 46 points in one. It's Alan Rose. So in second place running for Under 5 AC with a time of 36 to 11 is Robert Patterson. Congratulations Robert. And our winner with a time of 34 to 33 is Kenny Osborne. <laughs> and Kenny is running for Bella Houston Roadrunners. Congratulations. Did a good job of balancing there. Hey peoples! And in second place with a running for Mary Hill with a time of 1 hour 39.14 is Natalie Somerville. Natalie! Congratulations Natalie. And the winner of the female half marathon section with a time of 1 hour, 37 minutes and 11 seconds is Sharon McNichol. Congratulations Sharon. A big round of applause for the runners. Well done ladies. Peter. And running for Inverclyde AC with a time of 1 hour 13.26 is Jack Whitson. <laughs> so Jack is running home. So with, with, uh, uh, with a time of 1.12.41 running for Bella Houston Harrows is John Carr. Congratulations, John. That's an effort. Congratulations to our winners there.